So I think Northrop Grumman's uniquely suited for addressing this joint all domain command and control imperative because we've been doing this kind of thing for the last 60 years. Not only do we understand uh, how our air systems work, but we also understand how the space systems work. And when you look at something like the uh, ABMS system, and you think about how that's transitioning now to potentially a space capability, to understand both how the operations and that mission were accomplished in the past and how it could potentially be accomplished in the future, So one of the key attributes of the JADC2 system is the ability to assimilate large amounts of data that's changing in real time and assimilating that into information that becomes actionable information for commanders in the field to execute on. Space is absolutely critical to that for all these reasons that we've been talking about in terms of its global reach, its ability to see into denied areas, and its ability to get that information in the hands of the people that have to make those hard decisions in almost real time. In fact, the future is now, and we're gonna be required to not just um, send the Air Force out to create, to, to do close air support or do a reconnaissance mission. We have to get that data that whatever the Air Force finds um, or whatever the Army is facing or whatever the Navy is facing in a maritime uh, domain awareness perspective, that, that all that information needs to be available simultaneously to all the services. And it needs to be done in a way that's protected from cyber attack and from intercept. So the best place to do that is from space because you can have over the horizon communications, over the horizon surveillance, over the high horizon intelligence. And then once you understand what's happening in the battlefield, you can get that information to the warfighters, whether they're on land, sea, or air, or even in, in a cyber situation. So I think space is uniquely qualified to address that mission demand.